hello and welcome in this video i will talk about a new feature called vendor bank account changes workflow this feature is newly introduced in 1032 which means before this version this feature is not available <coughs> let's see how it works the first prerequisite to work with this feature is we need to go to feature management and this is the feature name vendor bank account changes proposal workflow like i mentioned this will be only visible from the tenor 32 version i have already enabled this and this feature i must say is a much much needed feature and almost most of the client records this because this directly impacts the payment part outgoing payment part of the organization after enable this feature we need to go to accounts payable parameters under accounts payable parameter under general there is a new toggle or new you know uh, area which is vendor bank account approval under this unlike vendor workflow vendor proposed changes workflow here microsoft has given the possibility to vendor bank account approval for creation also for also vendor bank account approval for changes as well so which means if a vendor bank account is required to be created if we enable this the workflow will work unless the workflow is unless that is approved by the approvers the bank account will not work the bank account still will be in active state and similarly for approval as well so modification as well there will be a workflow so if i enable this then this fields bank account number name or the standard field microsoft has given we can enable like if we want to have a workflow approval for swift code ivan or everything or as per the requirement from the organization where they want to have the workflow for the modification of vendor bank account they can have it <clears throat> if not they can just untick it or make it not required so after this another important setup we need to do is to create the workflow so like i have cre already created this workflow approval for propose vendor change and this is the vendor bank account changes proposal like if i click on new i can show you this is the workflow new workflow which microsoft has introduced which is workflow to approve the proposed vendor bank account changes i have already created this this is active now if i go to your vendors let's see the functionality and the design how it works if i go to any of the vendor if i click on bank accounts so now there is no bank account if i want to create a bank account like i mentioned i have an enabled the creation workflow as well so if i click hdfc hdfc bank so now you can see review status is draft if i save it then the workflow will be enabled i can submit it however if i don't submit it this this bank account will not be visible in the transaction also in the master data as well to test this i can click on edit i can go to in bank account and as you can see there is no bank account the reason is i have not submitted and that is not that has not been approved so if i submit it let's wait for a couple of minutes the workflow to work let's see still that is does not run the workflow okay if i go back another tips i can say that uh, from the 1032 version the interface has changed 
significantly as you can see there is no cross option close option previously it was there now it is a back option if you want to go back you need to click on this arrow close that was the tips small tips so now i can approve it still that is showing as dropped let's see it's showing completed okay it is completed now you see this is approved so if i go back and check this bank account field now you can see the bank account so i can use this for the transaction that is all about the creation workflow of the vendor bank account if i want to change something on this bank say and this will work as per the setup we have done and what are the fields we have enabled for this modification workflow to work let's see what are the fields if i go back and if i go to construct workflows and as you see bank account number name bank account number swift code say i want to change bank account number or add some bank account number two three four five six seven. and if i save it now you see the same thing which is there in the vendor master modification the proposed changes it is also here in this design as well so current was blank and it is proposed so I close and if i submit this will work as per the approval workflow so i won't wait for this because it is same thing which we have seen in the workflow but that is all about the creation workflow and the modification workflow one more information i wanted to share that this although this creation and modification is two different topic but the workflow is same so we don't need to create two different workflow for creation and modification as you can see this only works with this one so it is working with creation and also as 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 you know working with the modification as well another ch change and another uh, new thing here is that data entity behavior update say i will give an example we are doing the migration we are migrating a lot of bulk data uh, after go live or before go live uh, whenever is required and this creation workflow and modification workflow is enabled which means if we create anything in the bank account vendor bank account the workflow will enable however microsoft has given also the possibility if you import multiple vendors bank account you can manipulate this like making it allow changes without approval it means if we upload multiple vendor bank accounts in one go it will not ask for any workflow you can update this by the data entity by clicking on by selecting allow changes without approval though if you want to still have the approval for the bulk upload as well you can all, always select this create change proposal reject changes whatever you want to know so that is all about the new or a nice functionality a nice uh, new feature or i say i would say a uh, uh, much needed feature microsoft has introduced in 1032 so that's it uh, for this video stay tuned for another video like this thank you for watching bye for now